In this video, we're going to tackle a little bit more difficult of a derivative using uh, the rigorous definition. We're going to find the derivative of 1 over x. You know, another joyful video presented by www.free-academy.com. All right, now that I got that little sound bite in there, let's get to actual nuts and bolts. Um, as I always said, x is a placeholder. So when we use the formula, wherever we for uh, the f equals x plus h term, wherever we see an x, we're going to substitute it with an x plus h. So this will give us one over x plus h minus. And then, of course, this is f of x, so we can substitute it straight in. 1 over x over h. Now I'm going to write the limit over here. And then I'm going to leave it out for the rest of the problem, just, you know, just so I can write a little bit faster. Keep in mind it's still there, but I'll bring it back when it's all set and done. All right, now we're going to have some steps to actually solve this a little bit. We're going to uh, cross-multiply to uh, get a common denominator in the top of this uh, fraction here. So this will give us x minus x plus h over x times x plus h. If uh, that jumped the gun on you a little bit, work it out, uh, pause the video, work it out yourself, you'll see uh, that that follows. And now we're going to distribute out the x term and the negative term. So this will give us x minus, um, no, we won't be using that color. Right. x minus x minus h, that's distributing out the negative. And then distributing the x will give us x squared plus xh all over h. Now when you need to get something out of the denominator you multiply the top by its reciprocal and this is h over 1. So this will give us, um, sorry, before we do that just notice x minus x 0. Get that out of there. So this is negative h over x squared plus xh multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator, which is 1 over h. This will give us negative h on top, h times x squared plus xh on the bottom. And of course, the next great step of this operation is to cancel out our h's. We love canceling out our h's. Now we can apply the limits. The limits as h goes to 0 of negative 1 over x squared plus x times 0. And of course, this term drops out, giving us the answer of negative 1 over x squared. So the derivative, oh, too close. the derivative of 1 over x equals negative 1 over x squared. 